Hi everyone, welcome to another session on our loafers making class. I remain your aspiring for your professor Peter Shalom Gebe. In this very session, we are going to look into the insertion of our stiffener. That's the preparation of our stiffener and also how to insert our stiffener. Mind you, we have different methods that everyone adopts when inserting their stiffener when using the handmade kind of products. In this section, we're using a pre-molded stiffener that we'll be using to in our shoe. That's a fiber pre-molded stiffener. Stiffener comes in different forms. It can come in thermoplastic, it can come in flat types, fiber, among other kind of stiffener. Possibly can have a steel stiffener, but it depends on the kind of shoe you are making and the purpose of the product you are making. So you will be seeing how to insert our stiffener in this very product. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do well to click on the subscription button and click on the notification button to be notified on our videos. The first thing you do, you skyf your stiffener to make it even as you will be placing it on the material so that it can be, it will not be that visible on the shoe. And also, you can do well also to make sure you smoothen it with the help of the rough machine. If you want to use a hand abrasive, you can. But I chose to use the rough machine to smoothen it and make it more even and smooth on the edges so that it will not be visible when it has contact with the material. And the next process is to apply adhesive on the inner part of the upper that's in between the upper and the lining then we attach it into the upper right about now what I want to do is to click um, to hold my insole getting ready for the lasting proper so tuck my insole into three with three nails one in the middle one at the four part and one at the back part to help hold my insole. You might like to use staples to do that. It's, it depends on the availability of technology you're using. So you choose the technology you prefer and make use of that. But here I choose to use the tag nails to last this very upper on the shoe, on the shoe last. To insert the stiffener, there are different methodology. In some, who choose to attach the stiffener after lasting the upper, while some will choose to promote the stiffener first, that's the upper, before attaching the stiffener. So there are different methods. Just know that every method you adopt should be a method that you will be able to enjoy using. So right about now, I'm um, applying adhesive on the upper. Also apply adhesive on the stiffener. So what I will do is to make sure the adhesive is not a dry kind of adhesive because I can easily remove it if it is not placed properly and fix it back. Some people are very good at dry adhesive that they can apply without having errors. So to avoid errors, you apply that. Now, if you notice, I'm using the inner part, but I'm not allowing it to be flat. If I allow it to be flat, it will create wrinkles at the back part. So I'm taking the shape of the shoe as I attach the stiffener, not in a flat method of the upper. Note that it's very, very important. So this is just how to go about it. Now, I'll apply adhesive to cover it up on the inner part of the upper and the lining.
So now repeat the same process for the second stiffener on the second upper and that will be it about our stiffener insertion. If you've gotten value on this video, once you just subscribe to this channel and make sure you click on the notification button to be notified on our subsequent video. This is how far we can go on this very session. We hope you've gotten value. See you next time in the next video and make sure you practice remember practice make improvement you might not be perfect now but the more you practice the more you get more on this very um, process in shoe making yes this is just about stiffener insertion and shoemaking so if you have any question leave your question on the comment section or anything you have you want to add you can just leave that on the comment section and to those who are in the paid class you can just slide into the chat group and leave your questions where we discuss further